Jai so, uh, Jai how did, so what's the genesis of, the, of that song? Well, you know, that song, first of all, the mantra, Sri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram, um, which links into the name of the album, which is Roots Rock Rama. That, that mantra is an ancient, ancient, ancient mantra. Um, I think, you know, it, it's, it appears in print, if you could put it that way, in some of the Vedas in 2500 BC. So, and by then it was already quite old. But also, my guru, Neem Baba, had given me the mantra Ram to say. And he said, he said that when you say the name Ram, the impossible becomes possible. Nothing is impossible when one says the name of Ram. So in the ancient Hindu texts, the, the Ramayana, there's a, there's a, a moment where this vast army of monkeys and bears and Rama and his brother Lakshman, humans, uh, are, are needing to cross the ocean from the tip of South India to Sri Lanka, where Rama's wife Sita was imprisoned by the demons. And you know, I take it all quite literally, and, and one can also take it, all, take it all in any way they want, psychologically or like as a spiritual guide, however, for me, it's history, and um, I like to think of it that way. Anyway, so, but they couldn't cross the ocean. The ocean, I think it's like 350 miles to, to Sri Lanka. And of course, even now, a bridge, building a bridge of 350 miles is, I don't know, is it possible? But uh, um, they could have used aerial chariots because it's been proven that they did have air travel back then. But that's another story. Uh, so what they decided to do, one of the monkeys decided, hey, hey, well, this is not a problem. Let's just build a bridge out of rocks. And everybody else is going like, yeah, it's a fun idea and all, but rocks don't float, dude. So the, the, the engineer says, no, all we have to do is write Rama's name on the rocks and you'll float. Wow. So, so, you know, the giant monkeys brought boulders, the little chipmunks brought little little pebbles and everything had Ram's name written on it and it floated and created a bridge across the ocean. Now, you know, to me that's not only a story about a bridge across the ocean, but it's about the bridge across every obstacle that we encounter. If we put God's name on it or God's remembrance on it, uh, the, the impossible does become possible. But I gotta add, this is a very amazing thing. I think it was about 10 years ago or uh, maybe 12 years ago, NASA uh, space photography discovered the remains of an ancient stone bridge connecting Rameshwaram from the, very the tip of southern India to Sri Lanka. And so even as we speak today, the, the ar archaeologists and marine Marine archaeologists, I guess is what we call them, are still studying the remains of that bridge. And if you go to Google Earth and type in Rama's Bridge, you'll see, the, you'll see what's going on. And, you know, when that photograph was, first came out, the, the Hindu community worldwide went crazy. The historical veracity of the Ramayana is proven. And whether you think that or not, it certainly does kind of... Uh, boggle the mind a bit. It doesn't fit in the normal scientific concepts. So anyway, um, I've sung Sri Ram Te Ram Te Te Ram for, uh, I guess, around 45 years in, in so many different melodies. You know, like, I sing these mantras, and but the, the mantras, I, I really am firmly grounded in the mantras, and yet the melodies and the music of the mantras is, changes with my moods. So this melody is really funny, you know, it, it was at the very first Bhakti Fest and that first year <laughs> I was asked, requested, required to sing a three hour set. So wow. after, about, after about two hours on stage there, you know, singing really full on, I, 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 I was done and I was like, I had nothing else in me. I turned to Gauravani, my good buddy, and I said, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do now. I'm finished. And, and he looked at Daniel, a top player, who's also my really good buddy. And Daniel looked at me and said, make something up. So on the spot, with a harmonium, just like that, I made up that melody. Now, like two minutes after I started singing that melody, my son, who then was, uh, like, four? 
I don't know, he was, he was little, maybe three, he was a little guy. He came on stage and sat on my lap and started whispering in my ear. Now, as soon as he started whispering in my ear, the entire audience went, oh, how precious. And, and what he was saying was, Papa, are you done? Are you almost done? So the whole time I'm improvising that melody on the harmonium, he said, Papa, are you almost done? And, and for me, you know, everybody was like totally not what everyone in the audience was thinking. But for me, it was the cutest because he wanted my attention, you know, and, and, and it was, so anyway, that was just with the harmonium and everyone was singing and gradually I worked it out on the guitar and, I, and you know, because I also go through moves where sometimes I'll just sing kirtan with harmonium and then sometimes I get tired of the harmonium. It's like enough of that droney sound. <laughs> so anyway, that's how that song is. Ram 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 Ram